Live from Utah's first TV station, ABC4 News celebrates 75 years. Welcome to the ABC4 News at 10 o'clock. I'm Emily Flores. And I'm Glenn Mills. Thanks so much for joining us. We begin tonight with the latest from a deadly shooting in an apartment complex in Ogden. One officer injured, the suspect killed in that shootout. Yes, ABC4's Elena Castro spoke with residents at the complex tonight and has the latest. It was a shocking and unheard of day for those here at the Washington apartment complex in Ogden. It was a calm day and then at 3.30 this afternoon, neighbors heard shots ring out through the complex. According to Ogden City Police, this was due to a violation of a protective order. When an officer arrived, he was met with an armed gunman who opened fired and thus multiple rounds ensued. The shootout resulted in the officer being struck and taken to the hospital, who was now in stable condition. The suspect was shot and died on scene. Because of the severity of the situation, more officers quickly responded and the Ogden Police Department called for other agencies for backup. It is important to note that this situation was highly chaotic and rapidly evolving, leading to the involvement of multiple officers discharging firearms during the incident. The scene was secured, um, locked down following the incident, and given the gravity of the incident, we have requested the assistance of the Weber Morgan Critical Incident Task Force to conduct a thorough investigation. Rodney and Kayla, two residents here at the Washington Park Apartments, were about to get settled in for the evening. Rodney just having come home from work only minutes before when they heard the unthinkable. I stopped in, stopped in for a tire to get my tire fixed on my way home from work. So yeah, I just like barely pulled in. When I walked in, I sat down on the little couch to like take my dirty work clothes off and started going off. It started. Rodney saying that his car was hit with bullets and that he missed the shots just by minutes. He wasn't able to check his car for damage because the scene was still active. But when he first heard the pops, he thought there was something much less sinister. I thought it was like fireworks, fireworks. at first because it was loud. like at first it was like a couple of them. So they like, oh, some kids are probably playing with some fireworks or something. But after it started keep going, she looked out the window and seen the cop and she was like and when I when she told me that I turned around and that's when I seen the cop jump the fence and start shooting. No one other than the officer and the suspect were struck. Police are still working to process the area, but the community is no longer at risk. Glenn Emily back to you. All right. Thank you.